Hi there, my name is Amy and I'm one of the librarians here at Davis Family Library at Middlebury College. This video is one in our series of orientation videos for students at the language schools. And in this video, I'll be talking about newspapers, magazines, and finding streaming videos in your language through the library. I'll place timestamps in the description to help you navigate to particular topics, as well as links to the other videos in the series and links to any other resources that I particularly mention as well. Thanks for watching. All right, hello again. Uh, so in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about other kinds of media and other kinds of resources that you can access during your time at the language schools through the library and specifically I'm mostly talking about news and newspapers and magazines and films most particularly those are the items that come up most often in the language schools and I want to make sure that you have some idea of where to go to start accessing those kinds of materials so again let's see let's go to guides and you know that I in a previous video I talked a little bit about the language schools library guide that was in the ILL and research guides video if you want to go back and watch that one separately but I'm going to start at the language schools library guide come in here give it a second and so once I am here if I go to the news and magazines tab here we've put some of the most popular places to go for news and magazines right up here, right up top, news sources. And the two that I'm specifically gonna be talking about are Nexus Uni and Press Reader, which do kind of similar things, but in quite different ways. So I just want you to see both of those options, but they're both good places to find news and media materials in your language while you're here. All right, let's start with Nexus Uni, uh, which you can access through this link or alternately go link go slash nexus uni just like this uh, and that'll bring you right to this page and so nexus uni is it's lexus nexus but it's the academic version of lexus nexus called nexus uni um, and this is really a news research platform um, so when i bring you here this is mostly for doing news-based research while you're at the language schools, as opposed to like browsing or casual reading. Nexus Uni is not great for casual reading, but it's excellent for researching and finding new sources for your research. One thing just to show you, since we're here, um, this defaults to English for the platform, but you can, you can actually change this entire interface into a number of relevant languages, not all of them, unfortunately. If you're if you're here studying Chinese, there's not an option for that, unfortunately. But a lot of the languages that are taught at the language schools, you can turn the entire platform interface into that language if you have a mind to do so, um, or not. It's up to you, but you could do that here. And so let's see. Let's start by just searching for European Union. There's obviously there's a lot of news that I could search for, but a lot of it is a real drag and I don't wanna make this too heavy. It's just a library tutorial. So let's try and keep it a little bit lighter. So we're gonna search for the European Union. And of course this is, this. it's gonna bring, that's everything, right? This is every news source. We haven't filtered anything yet. Um, so it's telling me 10,000 plus. I'm sure that means millions in reality. Um, but you'll see, it's still going to highlight my search terms as best it can. It's even highlighting EU as an alternative. Um, lots of stuff here, but far too much to look at. So again, we have filters just like we did in library search. If you go back and watch the library search video, you'll see that this is a very similar process. We have some ways that we can narrow our results, including I can add some search terms and say, you know what, I only want things that include a mention of Emmanuel Macron. Or I can say, I want things that, everything except things that include Emmanuel Macron. Um, so I can include or exclude some search terms if I wanted to. Um, I might be able to apply some subject terms. I'm sure that's pretty a pretty massive undertaking in itself. Negative news, I've never actually tried that one before. That might be interesting to play with. 
Probably the most important one for our current purposes, though, is that you can filter by language. And so you see, just in French, we have almost 9 million results. But let's go ahead. Let's try applying the French filter. And you'll see, as we have seen before, um, these are probably more French oriented. So like this is coming from the French Republic news source. Um, this one, I'm not sure why it came up for French. This one is in French. Excellent. So some of them will be French language. Some of them may just be related in some way, but we have applied the French language filter and that hopefully will do something to narrow our results. Just like with the library search video though, um, the other thing that you can try is to search within your language. So to use French language search terms, if you're looking for French sources specifically, use the French search term instead. Um, and you'll see that that actually does quite a lot to at least ensure that our sources, our results are French language for the most part. It looks like they pretty much entirely are. And again, that's just because it is matching search terms. And since I used a French language search term, I'm getting French language results. So two different strategies for narrowing results down to my target language for research. And again, this is this platform is designed specifically for research. Um, whereas if you just wanted to do a little casual reading uh, and you were looking for French language magazines or newspapers, for example, instead, I might point you to a different resource, which is also on this page. It's called Press Reader, which you can get to through this link or at, if you can guess, go slash yes that's right go slash press reader will bring you right here to this page this one is much more oriented towards casual browsing and reading and i'll show you exactly how that works in a little bit more detail in order to focus by language i would encourage you once you get here scroll down to this categories menu which will appear usually about halfway down the page from here, you could narrow down to like, you know, I just I want to read some fashion magazines or a little entertainment news, or let's say for our purposes, I'm going to look for news still, just news. Um, and so by selecting that, so now we're just looking at newspapers. But here is where we start getting some options that can help us fo that, like focus down to a specific language. And of course, we can apply a little nuance here. Um, I chose French for this example because it is a language that is spoken widely on a global basis. So you might use uh, the country's filter, right? So maybe if I come down, I could just look for uh, resources from a French speaking nation and get a somewhat different view than just the standard Eurocentric French language view. Or I could search for French Canadian newspapers maybe for example so i could search by country as a method or of course i can come to the languages filter and i can just say you know what just show me french language materials french language newspapers and so from here you can see that i've really broken this down just to french magazines and so these materials as opposed to lexus or nexus uni which covers a huge amount of material across a very broad time period. Press Reader is much more focused on recent materials. It depends a little bit on the frequency of publication. So things that are published every day, you might have access to 30 days worth or maybe 90 days worth. Whereas publications that publish once a month, you might have as much as a year, a year's worth of issues available to you but it is only going to be more recent materials, like pretty recently published items. And while you can do a little bit of searching within uh, publications, really what this is designed for is casual reading. So I might come down to this magazine and all right, let's, let's read this one. Um, and what I will get is just this lovely uh, full page, like navigable, Whoops, I'm not sure, quite sure what I did. You know, like, sorry, let me, let me find my way back out. I get full page access exactly as it appeared in the original magazine. It's all here. 
I can read it exactly as it was. And also it's just, it's very browsable. It's something that I can just kind of come into, dip in, do a little bit of reading in the topic area and in the language of my choice. You know, it's casual browsing material, but you can focus it just to your language. So this is the main way that we would encourage you if you're just looking for some leisure time reading or a little bit of reading practice, um, and you want to look at some magazines or some newspapers, um, we would encourage you to come to Press Reader and use this. This is really what this resource is designed for. So Nexus Uni and Press Reader, kind of two similar but also completely different interfaces for you to use while you're here. All right. Another thing that a lot of students at the language schools would like to do and we would like to facilitate you in doing um, are watching movies in your language. Um, another popular leisure time uh, activity. So here again on the language schools guide and also on all of the uh, language guides. In fact, you know what, let's come back out to home. Let's do, uh, let's do it a little bit differently. So I might come down and say, I'm looking for Spanish. So I'm going to come to the Spanish language guide. And from here, I can come to the film and media tab. And you see that there is a link here just for films in Spanish. And if I click this link, it will run a search for me. That's fine. We don't need you. Uh, and this will pull up every film in Spanish that is in our catalogs, which includes all of the DVDs that are physically in our collection, but also all of our streaming media, including films in Canopy and films on other platforms. This is something a little bit different than we have done in the past. We usually like to refer students to Canopy first and foremost. And Canopy, if you've never seen it, um, it's right over here. Uh, you can access it through the guides directly or also at go slash that's right, Canopy, it is with a K, Canopy with a K, but go slash Canopy will bring you here. You know, and it's sort of like Netflix, but just for the library. So it's full of streaming movies and it actually, oh look, Spanish language cinema. Um, we'll talk about that. Uh, but it's a great place to come and just look for streaming video. And they do have a lot of films available in all of the target languages at the language schools. I will say the big downside increasingly to this platform is that they have not made it easy to search or to, to refine by language. It used to be pretty easy and then they made it a little bit harder, but still manageable. Um, but these days they've made it pretty difficult to find a way to do it. Occasionally you will get something that was so convenient timing. You will get something like this that you might be able to use, but it's, it's not the case for every language. Um, so you won't ever see Korean language films come up like that. Sometimes if you're watching stuff, you might also see some tags, but it's been really unpredictable and inconsistent. So for this year, as, a, as an alternative, again, we have kind of decided to use this link as a better way to locate films in Spanish because these search results will include, you see, there's a Canopy film right up here on the top. It will include everything that we have available in Canopy and you still get a way to sort of move out and it'll bring you into Canopy where you can actually watch this film. So I would just say, I think this is a simpler way to go about it. Of course, if there is something that you know you would like to watch and you're having trouble finding it, or if there's something you wanna read and you're having trouble finding it, that is a great time to either come to the research desk to ask a librarian for help or use go slash ask us to ask a librarian for help. Um, we're pretty good at navigating these systems and we want you to be able to watch anything you want. So if there's something that you want that we don't have, we might be able to get it for you. Or if you're just not finding something that you think is supposed to be there, we can help you find it. Or if you just want some help finding films in Spanish or films in Korean or films in Italian, whatever it might be, uh, please don't hesitate to come ask for help with that. Um, but yeah, Canopy here. And then also if you come into Film and Media, you'll see there's also some music guides. And you know, there's a lot of stuff in these guides that might be useful to you. But films in Spanish, I think right now is the best way to just sort of do some 
browsing for movies to watch in Spanish in your downtime. So I hope this video was helpful. As your time at the language school progresses, I'm sure you'll think of more questions, in which case I encourage you to get in touch with the Middlebury Librarian. You can find us most afternoons at the research desk at Davis Family Library, or you can reach out to us via the webpage at go slash ask us, where you will find an extensive FAQ, as well as ways to get in touch with us by chat, text, email, or by scheduling a one-on-one -on -one consultation with a librarian for your in-depth research questions. We're always happy to help. And thank you very much for watching. Good luck with your summer, and I hope to see you soon. Okay, bye.